Hello friends, it's me Chenwin Koder. This is the 10th chapter in the Java FX 3D development tutorial series. In the last video, we talked about moving light sources. I mean, we implemented this one. We have a point light and an ambient light and we got a nice box there. In this video, we will talk about self-illumination. So right now, there is no light source here. I removed all the light sources and there is no light reach, reaching this box but you can give some sort of self-illumination. So the light that you are seeing here is self-illumination from this box. So we will see how we can create this one here. And I need to show you why we really need this self-illumination map. So this is a net, this is an earth simulation I have created using Java FX 3D and I will show you how I created this step by step in the upcoming tutorials once you understand the basics of Java FX 3D. So the thing is if you zoom in you can see there are some lights in the earth and these lights are not from any other source. These are self-illuminated parts. So that is the requirement of self-illumination as you can see in different continents in different countries you can see some sort of artificial light and these lights are provided using self-illumination so let's see and let me close the current code here and this is the self-illumination chapter 10 and if you look at this prepare box we have set the diffuse map uh, this was done in chapter 6 in the texture and in this tutorial we'll be using set self illumination map so this self illumination map allows us to give some sort of self illumination property to java fx 3d object so for that first we have to remove the existing light sources so if i remove these two light sources there will be a default light source in the 3d world so i'm going to completely make it dark using a dummy light source just like this as we have discussed in chapter 8 if i add a simple light source like this then it will become completely dark and it is pure dark right now and i can give it self illumination using this material dot self illumination map and it takes an image so if i give it like this let me give an image there so uh, i i can specify an image and i have a couple of resources here and here i have a two i have two illumination maps one is this and one is this and i have some other sample images so in order to show you the basics let me use this image all the white portion will be illuminated in your Java FX 3D object and all the black portion will not have any self-illumination. So that is the idea. If the pixel is white or it has some amount of brightness, then it will be illuminated. It shouldn't have to be white. If you give a color like this, then this color will be given as illumination. So we will see that in action in a moment. Let me just come here and instead of wood i am going to just use this bump map so you can see how it is looking and i am going to use bump map.jp and if i give it that and run the program then you can see that it is completely illuminated in all the places except where is where there is the black colors like this and this is not ideal because this never happens suppose you want to give some complex illumination self illumination then you can use complex self illumination maps so if i give this illuminated.jpg an image if this is a black and white image then all the white pixels should be illuminated and all the black should see uh, should be shown as it is so as you can see it is self-illuminated from the places where there is white pixels. So you shouldn't confuse this with the texture. Let me show you what happens if I give this as texture. Texture will be seen only if there is some amount of light in the world. So once you remove all the light, then giving the texture as a diffuse map gives no effect so we have used the same image as a diffuse map but we can't see anything because if you want to see the actual texture with diffuse map 
there should be some amount of light in the world so self illumination map allows you to specify self illumination for the object and as i said before it is not limited to certain color you can give any color you want so i created this image by removing some red channel from the image and if i use that one let me close all except this if i use that one illuminati 2.jpg then you will see that we are getting image like this so this is self illumination so that's it guys that's the end of this chapter in this chapter we have seen about self illumination and as always thank you for watching this video like the video if you like it and subscribe for more